Hi there, my name is Chris, sales manager for Sound and Vision in Bolton. We're looking at a new range of speakers today from KEF, known as the Q series. In the range, you have the Q100s, the Q300s, the Q500s, the Q700s, and the Q900s. The models we're showing here are the Q300s and the 700s. They're available in three different finishes, which are black oak, walnut, and cherry. So let's have a look at some of the design technology in this new range of speakers. It is a complete rework from the, the old uh, KEF IQ series. First of all, we've gone back to uh, the square cabinets. The reason we've gone back to square cabinets is that you can get 30% more volume of air, so you increase the bass from the speaker. We've also gone to a completely new rework of the actual drive unit. In fact, this drive unit costs two and a half times the cost of the previous uh, IQ drive unit. First of all, you've got an aluminium construction of the drive unit, making it a lot stiffer. It's a lot quicker to respond. You've got what they call a Z-Flex design around the outer rim here of the speaker. The tweeter is mounted completely independently on the UniQ drive series. You've got basically the drive unit here, which you can see is not attached to the actual tweeter itself, but everything's coming from one single source. Now, if you imagine um, if someone is singing, um, everything comes basically from one voice. If you look at a traditional speaker where you have a, a bass, mid-range and a tweeter which is offset, you've basically got the bass and mid-tones coming from one area and then the high frequencies coming from another area. It's almost like someone singing with two, with two mouths. Well, everything comes from one area, so everything's coming from one single point on this speaker, just the way it should be, so you get tremendous imaging. The imaging quality on this speaker is really second to none. In fact, when KEF were developing this range of speakers, they actually bought in speakers from various other manufacturers to make sure that every speaker they've got, whether it's a bookshelf speaker or a floor standing speaker, is beating everything in its class. So we've got, as we said, we've got basically an aluminium drive unit using Z-Flex design. Independent separate tweeter in the centre here, which is a one inch stiffened dome tweeter. It uses KESS, um, what they call tangerine wave design, which filters out the high frequencies across the drive unit. And then the Z-Flex design, yet again, disperses that over a wider area as well. So you get, as I said, a really smooth transition of all the high frequencies. The 300s are actually uh, base ported, as you can see here. Oh, when you go on to the floor standing speakers, they're all sealed speakers. You've got the LF uh, uh, drivers here. When you look at the floor standing units, and we'll have a look at this closer uh, in just a moment, the actual drive unit cells that you see here are mounted completely separately in the cabinet. So you've got the bottom two drive units here, which are in the bottom section here. It's actually sealed internally on here. So the actual base drivers that you're looking at here are not interfering with the high frequencies. The drive unit itself, you can see on the screen here, uses an enormous magnet on the rear to control all that sound for you. You've also got extremely large voice coils. The tweeter that you can see sort of blown apart here as well, comes through the centre of the drive unit as we can see here, and it's also rear vented to cut down on distortion as well. As I can say, it's a complete new redesign from, from KEF. In fact, a lot of the technology they're using in this speaker is from a speaker called the Concept Blade. Now, as it says, that the Concept Blade was a concept speaker developed by KEF, costing over a million pound um, in its design. Now, some of the features from the Concept Blade are now filtering down into this uh, KEF Q series. So, a tremendous range of speakers. In fact, the Q300s that you see here have been reviewed by Watt Hi-Fi. Now, they were reviewed alongside many other manufacturers' speakers, and this beats everything else in the review. Okay, so uh, here we have a shot of the actual uh, two new drive units, which are the units uh, here. Um, first of all, uh, we've got um, the UniQ drive unit. This particular one is actually out of the Q100, uh, which is the smaller of the bookshelf speakers. Um, as you can see on here, you've got the actual drive unit, uh, which is mounted independently, as you can see, to the actual tweeter in the centre here. You've got the Z-Flex design running around the uh, outer rim of the drive unit as well. So there's no barrier uh, to the actual high frequencies travelling over this drive unit. If you look at the older drive unit, out of the older QCs, which is this unit here, you've got this uh, rim, like a lot of speakers have, basically, which causes a barrier to the high frequencies that are filtering over uh, the actual surface of the drive unit. 
it, which then introduces distortion. So as a complete new design on the new UniQ drive unit, you've also got on the new unit as well a much larger tweeter. If you look at the tweeter in the centre of that drive unit there compared to the old drive unit, you've actually got a much larger tweeter in the centre of the unit. The magnets on the back of these units as well are absolutely enormous. You can see the size of the magnet on the back of there and extremely large voice coils as well, uh, which are uh, difficult to see on there just in the, uh, down in the centre of the unit. Because the magnet is so large on this, it gives you tremendous control uh, over the actual drive unit as, itself. And the, uh, the magnet on here is more than twice the size of the magnet that's actually on the older um, uh, Q um, series, Uniq series uh, drive unit. This is the low frequency driver uh, that you see in the, um, uh, the floor standing uh, speakers uh, from KEF. And yet again, enormous magnets on the, uh, on the rear uh, of the drive units to give uh, complete control over the uh, base frequencies. Okay, so let's take a, a quick look at the, uh, the back of the, uh, the Q300. What you've got on here is basically your speaker terminals. Now, there's been a complete rework of the design of the crossover in this range of speakers. So what you've got on here is basically, um, if you want to buy wire or buy amp this speaker, the terminals that you see here in, in uh, are sort of below and above, if you want to buy amp or buy wire, the controls in the center here just unscrew. So you're not having to sort of remove any links. Just unscrew those and you're then equipped for by wiring uh, the actual speaker itself. If you're just wiring from um, a single source, then basically just screw those down, attach to the, uh, the bottom two or the top two, and you're okay for wiring just from a, a standard stereo source if you don't want to buy amp or, or buy wire the actual speakers themselves. As I said, this particular finish is in the, uh, the, the cherry finish that you see here, but you've also got walnut or the, uh, the black oak finish as well. Comes with a little bracket if you actually want to wall mount the speaker. Uh, there's also, uh, obviously, you can uh, get floor stands uh, for them as well. What we'll do, we'll have a look at the, uh, the larger speakers uh, in the range. I said at the moment here we've got the 700. In this particular range, we're saying before, you've got the bookshelves, the 1s, the 3s, and then the floor standards, which are the 5s, 7s, and the 9s. You've also got in that range the dipoles, which are showing just on the screen here. And you've also, if you are setting this up for a full AV surround sound system, whether it's uh, 5.1, 7.2, whatever it may be, you've also got uh, a couple of sensors on here, um, which are the Q200 um, and the uh, Q600 uh, sensor. Um, uh, the subwoofer is uh, also shown in the picture here as well. So let's just take a closer look at the, uh, the Q700. Okay, so here we've got the uh, the Q700. Um, you see it's in the uh, walnut finish. I've turned it on its side slide to hopefully show you um, the design and the structure internally on this cabinet. What you've got here are the, um, the low frequency drive units here. Now, these drive units that you see at the bottom are divided up into their own cabinet area. The idea around this is basically to stop any distortion going into the, uh, the, uh, the top drive unit, the UniQ drive unit here, to cut down any distortion that may interfere with the higher frequencies. So what you have, the cabinet is basically sealed off internally here. Now if I press this bottom drive unit, hopefully you'll see this one moving, but this one not. So if I press that drive unit in there, you can see some movement on this drive unit here. And if we press this drive unit here, we should see the UniQ moving here. And vice versa, it's moving the bottom speaker on there. So completely sealed off into their own um, cabinet uh, structure internally on the speaker itself. It's a wonderful design on this range of Q-series speakers. Um, the actual sound quality you get from this speaker, you'd only really normally achieve in a speaker range in a much higher price. Um, there is a speaker for everyone out there in the Q-series, whether it's the 100s or 300s up to the 5.7s or 9s, complete AV systems. As I said, they are all wired up in our showroom for demonstration purposes. Please give me a call. My name is Chris on 01204 861 861 if you'd like some more details on this range of speakers. What I am going to show you at the end of this video clip are some snapshots of the actual drive units themselves. So have a look at those because the drive units, as I said, in this range of speakers are completely reworked. Because of the amount of technology in the drive units, it's cut down on the technology needed in the crossovers so you get a purer sound from this range of speakers. So call into our store, which is in Bolton or in Leeds, where you'll find the Q-Series on demonstration. Or go to our website if you'd like some more information. There's information on our website on the Q-Series uh, on there as well. Thank you for viewing.